top five app that every architect must have on their phone. So the first app is something that I use often. It's the Sketchbook app. I am an Android user, so I use Sketchbook. If you are an iPhone user, there is a great app called Procreate and other app is called Morfolio Trace. These two apps are for iPhone and they are really, really good apps. Next app that I often use is SketchUp Viewer and Autodesk app. Autodesk like AutoCAD app. So what these app help me do is basically make some basic changes in the AutoCAD file or probably view my AutoCAD file and SketchUp files which helps me a lot when I'm on site or going to check some drawings on site or check some progress on site just to do a cross verification and probably sometimes even to explain the site uh, contractor or carpenter that okay you have to do this or this is the measurement probably the uh, dimension over in the documentation that was sent to them was wrong or uh, we have rectified it so just to explain them the entire context of why this is like this uh, it becomes very crucial uh, for all the architects i think everyone should have an auto cad app or a sketch of viewer app if you are using any of these two softwares next app that i often use is the polycam app yes uh, it is a 3d scanning app uh, okay you might think like what we will do by 3d scanning or something so whenever i go on a site survey or try to site uh, record the site entirety of the site what i do is basically take all the measurements by myself of course because you can't totally trust all these scanning apps so you take the dimensions and everything whatever you can and just do a full scan of the building whatever you can scan whatever you can record i record it on polycam and then later on import this obj file and scale it in my sketchup or my revit model and then use it use it for a reference basically sometimes we do forget like you know small spaces small corners or we get confused what was here or what did i miss over here this dimension is not matching so this entire polycam file will help you to understand the space better and if you have missed something this is a backup plan for you and even if you don't have a measuring tape i would say that have a polycam app on your phone and just go and randomly scan the entire space and then just have a measurement of one or two walls and then scale the entire scanned image based on those two measurements so that also helps a lot this is my workflow you can adopt any other workflow if you want next app is autodesk construction cloud yes guys autodesk construction cloud has an app for uh, tablets and your mobile phones so what it helps you to do is basically if you are a revit user or a bim user if you have your drawings and your project on autodesk construction cloud so what you can do is you can access all your sheet you can do markups and reviews of all the drawings that you have even if you are on site you can see the 3d models you can see and even mark certain elements that okay this is not as per as site conditions or this is not being built properly or can you send us the detail for this specific area so this app actually helps a lot for all the construction project manager and even the site contractors i think all of the people all the site contractors who are uh, into bim and who are using revit often they all have this app on their phone fifth one is quick measure uh, it's a free app it's uh, free for android like android app it is so quick measure basically uses your camera to measure your surrounding it is basically somewhat similar to uh, what we have on iphone measuring apps on iphone so uh, what you can do is you can just use the camera you can select a corner of a room and just have a rough measure i would again repeat this that don't totally rely on these apps uh, these apps are sometimes not accurate and sometimes they give uh, errors so if you want to have a basic measurements if you want to have just a basic idea of the space you can use this app but don't rely on this apps completely and start making drawings based on the measurements that you have gotten from these apps but 
these apps are really really helpful for a lot of people like me who are just going into a space and the clients ask what we can do here this is this big space so just to get rough measurement it helps a lot next app is something that i use personally probably you might not use it that much but uh, it's called the sun path app and this app actually shows you uh, the sun orientation on a specific day or specific time of the year and you can actually see it live through your camera so it actually helps you to uh, make a basic or calculative guess on what or how you want to orient a structure on the site or how you want to start the planning even before st uh, starting anything on your Revit software or any other software. You can just have a rough idea on site and even show the client like, okay, you are standing here, the sun will be in this direction on this year and you will have sunlight directly into your living room. So it helps, it helps a lot. But I don't know if you will be able to use it or if you would like to use this or if you are into that much of sustainability and calculating the sun path and everything. So these were all the top apps that I have on my phone and I hope these apps will help you as well. I have mentioned all the links for the, all these apps in the description. So go ahead, check it out. This video is not sponsored. This is just my feedback and my review of what apps i use and probably these can help you as well and guys if you like this video if you like what i do what i share for the community of architecture please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel because your likes and subscriptions are the only thing that keeps me going because you know how architecture life is how tough it is and how hectic it can get so yeah please show some love and uh, i'll see you soon take care bye bye